Nelson Aguilar led the day in receiving yards. Five catches, 155 yards, his highest yardage total with the Raiders. Arguably one of the best free agent signings in the league, not just with the Raiders. When you think of Nelson Aguilar, you guys, when it comes to what he can do in terms of contribution to the team, it, would you say he is one of the best, if not the best, free agent signings this, this season? It was such a feel-good story because it reminded me of days of old with the Raiders where you gave a player another chance. I had it. EA came over from another team, and you tried to make the biggest impact that you could on the Raiders. Nelson has just had a tremendous year. And, of course, you know, the Raiders were lucky to get him because he had been written off in Philadelphia. People had outcast him. Here's a former West Coast guy, USC guy, wanted to come back on the, relatively on the West Coast and had a tremendous year for the Raiders. He is a great acquisition. Without a doubt, EC. And you know how I feel about Nelly and and again, I think the versatility he brought to this football team early in the season when those two young guys uh, were hurt and banged up, he stepped up multiple roles, played inside, played outside, made critical catches on third down. He's a great person in the locker room, kind of mentoring these young players, but he's made some explosive, big time plays. I think Derek feels very comfortable with him. You see all the other big time free agents, just one of those guys I think I'd take over Nelly. You know, that quarterback. Just one? But just, just, one. just one. Just one now, <laughs> okay. you see. Just one. But Nelly, 15, has really balled out all year long. So happy for this young man making critical plays for this football team. Yeah, he's almost tripled his touchdown production from his last season with the Eagles. And as we've done our Raiders postgame show, he's almost always making <laughs> huge plays. We're always yeah. talking about Nelly. We're always talking about how reliable he is. And when you think of the Raiders season, you think of how they have had injuries at the wideout position, yeah. right? Henry Ruggs not always available. Brian Edwards still coming along. And Nelson Aguilar each and every week making significant contributions to this team. Yeah, giving you chances and opportunities to win football games. I think coming over from Philadelphia, he was known as a route runner. That role has definitely expanded uh, with John because, you know, you're going to be lined up everywhere. You know, the jet sweep is going to be a part of uh, your forte. But again, I just love the fact that he's been able to get down deep and be kind of the deep threat at times, beating coverages uh, again and again. So he's really changed uh, his role. And again, you talk about getting better. And I think that's one thing he really impro improved on this year is really taking steps all throughout the season by getting better in fulfilling his role. And like you said, bringing along the young guys. Yeah. Now his contract, folks at home, is up this year. Link, I ask you, is he a priority, someone that you want to keep on this roster moving forward? Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. There's no question <laughs> about it. you got to get it. Look, the, the wide receiver prior to this year was a void that it needed to be filled. They addressed it in the draft. They addressed it in free agency. They got great production out of all their other players to some extent. Of course, we want to see more of Brian Edwards. Source, we want to see more of Henry Ruggs the third but in the meantime in the interim Darren Waller Nelson Aguilar along with a few others were the ones that carried this team and right. so I mean that's important so he's a priority and let's not forget Tyrell Williams Absolutely. was supposed to be a guy supposed that our guy. number one wide receiver coming into the season so yes Nelson Aguilar has filled in admirably for the silver and black